All right, we're going to replace the monitor here. I'm going to start by peeling off the, the stickers that cover up the little screws. one of these little sticky dots covers one screw. You gotta make sure to get these back ones. I'm just gonna set these aside. And you'll need a small screwdriver. And you just slowly work your finger in. Sometimes it's helpful to use a screwdriver to pop those loose. You just want to be kind of gentle, not too much force. And it'll pop all the way off pretty easily. You see I'm kind of turning the screwdriver a little bit while applying a little bit of pressure. It helps snap those free. Sometimes you'll get one that sticks a little bit. depending how long the monitor has been on there. Now some of these monitors have been on for a long time. And then there's a couple of more screws that you need to get on this outside edge. And again the key here is to kind of make sure you keep all your screws somewhat separated. Simply want to lift up and I'll zoom in so you can see the back side of this. There's two little pinch connectors here, and sometimes it's easiest if you use a screwdriver to lightly pry those apart after you're holding them in. And then there's one final one down at the bottom. And you can see that it just pulls straight up. And I'm going to open my new screen from laptop supply. I made sure to order this in the correct size and resolution. I'm going to roll it over on its back. Connect that back in. Make sure your ears pop out. And push this connection back down, making sure you've lined it up correctly. I'm going to peel the tape tabs. Mm -hmm. and set it in there and you can see that this screen doesn't come with a new cradle. So you do need to take this mounting bracket off. And one thing to make sure here is you remember which side goes where. Uh, again, these screws are a little bit different, so...
Alright, we got that back on. Put the screen down. And you're going to want to make sure that all your wires go back down in how they're supposed to. And these end screws will be covered by the main plate when you put it on. Grab your plate. And then you can go ahead and put these sticky dots back in to cover them up and give a factory appearance to your user. And they also help separate the screen from the keyboard and can save some wear and tear on your screen, which is always a positive thing. And there you have the factory laptop monitor back in, powered on to make sure it works.